The water we drink today has likely been around in one form or another since dinosaurs roamed the Earth hundreds of millions of years ago. While the amount of fresh water on the planet has remained fairly constant over time, continually recycled through the atmosphere and back into our cups, the population has exploded. This means that every year competition for a clean, copious supply of water for drinking, cooking, bathing, and sustaining life intensifies. Fresh water makes up a very small fraction of all water on the planet. While nearly 70% of the world is covered by water, only 2.5% of it is fresh. The rest is saline and ocean-based. Even then, just 1% of our fresh water is easily accessible, with much of it trapped in glaciers and snowfields. Due to geography, climate, engineering, regulation, and competition for resources, some regions seem relatively flush with fresh water, while others face drought and debilitating pollution. In much of the developing world, clean water is either hard to come by, or a commodity that requires laborious work or significant currency to obtain. There are two general types of water scarcity, physical and economic. Physical, or absolute, water scarcity is the result of a region's demand outpacing the limited water resources found there. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, around 1.2 billion people live in areas of physical scarcity. Many of these people live in arid or semi-arid regions. Physical water scarcity can be seasonal. An estimated two-thirds of the world's population lives in areas subject to seasonal water scarcity at least one month of the year. The number of people affected by physical water scarcity is expected to grow as populations increase and as weather patterns become more unpredictable and extreme. Economic water scarcity is due to a lack of water infrastructure in general, or to the poor management of water resources where infrastructure is in place. The FAO estimates that more than 1.6 billion people face economic water shortage. In areas with economic water scarcity, there usually is sufficient water to meet human and environmental needs but access is limited. Mismanagement or underdevelopment may mean that accessible water is polluted or unsanitary for human consumption. Economic water scarcity can also result from unregulated water use for agriculture or industry, often at the expense of the general population. Finally, major inefficiencies in water use, usually due to the economic undervaluing of water as a finite natural resource, can contribute to water scarcity. Further, we are going to discuss in detail the causes of water scarcity, starting with pollution. Water pollution comes from many sources, including pesticides and fertilizers that wash away from farms, untreated human wastewater, and industrial waste. Even groundwater is not safe from pollution, as many pollutants can leach into underground aquifers. Some effects are immediate, as when harmful bacteria from human waste contaminate water and make it unfit to drink or swim in. In other instances, such as toxic substances from industrial processes, it may take years to build up in the environment and food chain before their effects are fully recognized. Agriculture. Agriculture uses 70% of the world's accessible fresh water, but some 60% of this is wasted due to leaky irrigation systems, inefficient application methods, as well as the cultivation of crops that are too thirsty for the environment in which they are grown. This wasteful use of water is drying out rivers, lakes, and underground aquifers. Many countries that produce large amounts of food, including India, China, Australia, Spain, and the United States, have reached or are close to reaching their water resource limits. Added to these thirsty crops are the fact that agriculture also generates considerable freshwater pollution, both through fertilizers as well as pesticides, all of which affect both humans and other species. Increased frequency of droughts. The world's changing climate has been linked to an increased incidence of droughts that can greatly diminish freshwater supplies in a region. The historic drought in California has depleted the Sacramento and San Joaquin River basins by an estimated 11 trillion gallons below normal seasonal levels. According to modeling by NASA, there is a high likelihood of mega droughts in the 21st century which can span multiple decades. What are the consequences of water scarcity? There are a number of ramifications tied to the water crisis, including lack of access to safe, clean drinking water. When people can't access clean water for drinking, agriculture, and washing, their lives are at stake. Every year, more than 800,000 people die from diarrhea caused by consuming unsafe drinking water or insufficient sanitation practices. 80% of the illnesses in developing countries result from unhealthy water, and one out of four deaths of children under the age of five are the result of water-related illnesses. Threatened Ecosystems Water scarcity has serious effects for wildlife and flora. Especially notable is the rapid disappearance of wetlands, which reduces wildlife habitat and causes the loss of water filtration, storm protection, and flood control services typically proffered by wetlands. Collectively, the world has lost 50% of all its wetlands since 1900, and nowhere is immune. Even places like California, Florida, and Louisiana have witnessed high rates of wetlands disappearance. 
unhealthy economies and increased poverty. When water is hard to access, people will spend an inordinate amount of time obtaining it. This means people are not free to invest in education and careers, among other things, and this trickle-down impacts both individuals and their countries. For example, the World Bank estimates that water scarcity can result in GDP losses of as much as 14% decreased food access and higher food costs. As water becomes scarcer, it also becomes more expensive. That increases the cost of producing food crops, which then increases the cost of food in local grocery stores and markets. For example, a mere 10% rise in the cost of water could increase the production cost of a single orange by as much as 30%. This simultaneously makes farming more difficult and decreases access to healthy food, which has ramifications for public health. Increased global conflict. Freshwater resources are often shared by two or more countries, which may lead to more international conflicts as freshwater becomes more scarce. Addressing water scarcity requires a multidisciplinary approach. Water resources must be managed with the goal of equitably maximizing economic and social welfare without compromising ecosystem functioning. This ideal is sometimes referred to as the triple bottom line, economics, environment, and equity. At the end of the video, we are going to present five ways to address the freshwater crisis. One, developing water filtration systems. It's one thing to have access to water, and it's another to have access to water that is safe to drink. Effective water filtration systems help ensure fresh water can be put to good use. 2. Promoting water stewardship. It takes every community in the world to reduce the threat of water scarcity. Now more than ever, the world needs water stewards in all forms. Whether that means reusing gray water and eradicating leaks and other water inefficiencies at schools and offices, or investing in sustainable energy and water reduction initiatives by companies, water stewardship is a big part of the puzzle when it comes to limiting water scarcity. Protecting wetlands. Remember when we mentioned that wetlands are natural water filtration systems? Well, that means they have a big role in collecting and purifying water. Wetlands are disappearing at an alarming rate, but conserving wetlands could have a major payoff. Currently, an international treaty called the Ramsar Convention has helped protect more than 2,000 wetlands. More aggressive conservation measures are required if we want wetlands to assist our efforts to reduce water scarcity. 4. Improving irrigation efficiency. Industrial agriculture is one of the biggest drains on water resources. Simply switching from flood irrigation systems to sprinklers or drip irrigation systems could help the agricultural sector save a tremendous amount of water. When combined with better soil management, practices such as no-till or limited tillage and mulching, which reduces evaporation from the soil, more efficient irrigation systems can significantly reduce water usage. 5. Increasing water storage and reservoirs. Climate change increases the frequency of droughts and floods. By expanding the reservoir capacity, we can capture and store flood water to prevent its loss to the ocean, where it becomes salinated and more difficult to treat. The stored water can be used to provide water during times of drought. In the U.S., many states, such as California and Wyoming, are considering enlarging existing reservoirs or building new ones. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you will be among the first who see our latest videos. You can also give this video a like, share it with your friends, and if you have the means and want to support us, you can do it on Patreon at patreon.com slash notcomplicated.